So I just added some oil to my instant pot. I cook my dal in my instant pot. And um, so I added the oil and I actually chunky my dal before I cook it, before I put it in, put the dal in. And the reason being is I used to use a pressure cooker and on one occasion um, the oil, I don't know, it got caught with the flame and the entire thing was on fire. So um, an uncle of mine told, Uncle Jerry by the way, he told me um, about doing it this way. Now he's an excellent cook. Um, so since then I have been doing it like this and I've had no issues at all. So let me show you how, it, how I do it now. So my oil is in my um, instant pot. I am going to add, again, this is how I do my thing. I'm going to add some whole green jira. Wait, a lot went in there, but that's okay. There's, you can never have too much jira. My mom can tell you about that. With the whole green jira. Because I love jira so much, I'm going to add some ground jira. that to fry up a little bit, toss it up a little bit in the oil, that's that you're frying up a little bit there. I am going to add some saffron powder. I like my dal looking nice and more red than yellow. So add in some saffron powder there. Again, that's going to fry up as well. my greens and my brown jira so, and again my uncle Jerry told me making making sure the saffron powder cooks well is um, actually very important because sometimes it can give you diarrhea if it's not cooked properly um, a little tip he also gave me if you're making saffron rice you boil the rice with the saffron and not fry up the rice with the saffron so you boil the rice with the saffron in it so that's just a little tip that I got from a great cook dry this up a little and then I'm going to throw in again my pimento and my, uh, my onion we have our seasoning in butter containers so I have some garlic here ground garlic I washed my dal and um, I'm going to throw it in now. This is what it looks like after I put my dal. My washed dal was split these into my instant pot. So I'm going to add some water to that. I'm going to add water to that. And then, as my sister will tell you, Measurements is not something that I am good at, which is why I just cook for my home circle. Again, salt. I add the salt, and I after the uh, after it's cooked, I taste mm, for flavor. If it's lacking salt, I add more. So, if you're using an instant pot, <coughs> excuse me, 
If you're using an instant pot, I set mine to pressure cook. And 35 minutes. You leave that and it does everything for you. There is a keep warm feature. So when your dal is finished cooking, it, um, it stays warm. It's just, it, it works just like a pressure cooker. So once that uh, valve is up, it means it's pressurized. So you do not open it. So we're gonna leave that for 35 minutes and we'll check back when the valve uh, drops. Okay guys, so my valve went down. Um, the venting came on and it has been 13 minutes since my dial has been finished so we're gonna open and do a taste test it's not so bad okay so that's my dial it's great so it has a little zinc to it it's a little peppery but and maybe that's what makes it taste so good in my opinion there's no need to add any more salt. Um, if anyone, if anyone here, <coughs> here meat in my household needs to, they will add um, after. So I'm just going to cut it right back and close it and leave that there until we're ready to eat. Okay. Uh, let me just show you my seam. I empty my seam into a bowl, and that's it there. Okay. This is the aftermath of eating some of Devika's dal rice and same. As you can see, there are no survivors.